So here we are on the second segment of dealing with variables and you can see that we have a couple of scripts, one on button A that will take the current temperature and convert that into Fahrenheit and uh, then on button B we will do a conversion of uh, the current temperature into Kelvin. Um, so we're sort of doing a little bit of physics and cross-curricular activities. So let's uh, fire up a new block editor um, and then again I can talk you through some of the elements uh, that uh, go into this. So we are going to in double quick time uh, possibly um, learn to spell Celsius properly. Celsius and we are going to take it from the temperature input and we will then show that variable as before um, variables Celsius for a short interval all fingers and thumbs um, we can uh, just run that if uh, we so desire and as ever the uh, microbit comes up with uh, 21. Um, now uh, there's various levels and ways and means of uh, doing the calculation for the conversion um, and it's uh, quite normal for some such a simple sum of multiply by 9 divide by 5 and add 32 uh, that you would probably do that all on one line. Um, however it helps with debugging if um, uh, we sort of uh, create some intermediary stages. Uh, so I'm going to take that temp var um, as a temporary container and then I am going to use the maths to, it doesn't really matter which of the blocks I drag over because I can just change that to times, we make that the 9, go back into variables and then if we were in a scenario where we were uh, doing uh, uh, some complex maths, we would probably at this stage drop in a show number so that we can just check where we're up to. Um, so we can sort of see that it says 21, which is what it always says on the uh, simulator. And then that's multiplied it by 9, and that seems to come up with a fairly reasonable number. So. Uh, we would call this uh, sort of activity debugging, but um, our next step is to duplicate that block and we actually want to now divide our temp var by 5. And then we can again duplicate that block and we can then have lots of giggles while we create a new one of Fahrenheit and that's going to be temp var plus 32 so it's still using the wrong keyboard there we go and uh, well I may as well just drag this show number over and then set that to Fahrenheit and then we can run that on button A, it says 21, waits a second and then tells us that that is 53, uh, which is clearly wrong, hence the debugging. Uh, so we shall run that again, 21, which I'd expect to be 69.8, but as discussed previously, uh, we have integers and it just chops off the decimal point. So that's a, a practical example of using um, variables and whilst, as I say, we could in fact in theory construct uh, the, this block here um, by doing a complex series of nested um, calculations um, in the way that Scratch allows us to um, uh, and you could build that up. Um, it is at this stage sort of uh, so much simpler just to uh, sort of set up a temporary variable and then do your final calculation 
into Fahrenheit. So, uh, in the next uh, spectacular script, uh, we will be introducing the if statement so we can introduce a little bit of logic.